the hour. Welcome back to the most news in the morning. And that's it. No more tears, no more lies, no more drama. Wait, they're canceling this show? Just kidding. <laughs> um, this week, Guiding Light, the longest running drama show in broadcast history, is going to be signing off after 72 years. And Alina Cho is here now, fresh from the Guiding Light set. Yeah, wow. it was, it was, were you a walk-on? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. But uh, but I was there as an observer. It was pretty cool to be there. I mean, to to be on that set. You know, when people come here, they always say, "Oh, it's amazing to see it in person." And it really was amazing to be there. Seventy-two years, guys. It's incredible. And you know, just think about it. When Guiding Light debuted back in 1937, FDR was president. A first-class stamp was three cents. And the Golden Gate Bridge was just opening. But after 72 years, this Friday, Guiding Light is signing off for good. And you don't have to be a fan of the show to know that when the show goes, so does a little piece of television history. Some might say it's ridiculous to call this... I baptize myself the Squad of Springfield! ...an institution. But Guiding Light is an institution. The longest-running drama in history. The CBS soap opera started on the radio back in 1937 and moved to TV in 1952. 72 years of over-the-top lies. If this is some kind of plan to extort money, you can forget it. Cheating. You me sex now. And pure drama. Even if you see the body, even if you see the body cut up, it doesn't really matter. Nobody's ever really dead. I'm not hooked on alcohol. Guiding Light also helped launch more than a few careers. It was one of the first soap operas to introduce leading African-American actors and tackle social issues that once were taboo. This show was doing uterine cancer stories when you couldn't say uterus on television. But the show is ending. Guiding Light is the latest victim of low ratings and increased competition. So later this month, the soap will sign off for the last time. The show is an heirloom. It gets passed down from generation to generation. Like the King family in Connecticut. Everybody feels high. Four generations of Guiding Light fans. Some people knit together, some people drink together, some people play cards. We like Guiding Light. <laughs> the family has never missed an episode. You know, when you watch every day like we do, um, you know, it becomes a part of your life. For the actors, too. Many have been with the show for decades. I signed a three-year deal 28 years ago. I got no complaints. <laughs> no regrets. And Tina Sloan, 26 years. For whatever anybody may feel about soap operas and where they rank in the uh, artistic pantheon, um, to have any enterprise like this for a 72-year period, I don't think anybody will ever beat that. That's a wrap. <laughs> Seventy-two years, a long, long history. Now, there had been some hope earlier on that Guiding Light would find a new home on another network or maybe even on the web. But now we know that CBS is going to replace Guiding Light, guys, with a game show, Let's Make a Deal. So, you know, the fans were hoping for uh, a reprieve or something. But uh, but anyway, the, lo the last show will be on on Friday. You know, it it's, you know, I talked to several of the actors, you know, Kim Zimmer, who plays Reva, she said, you know, on the last day of taping, I, I looked at um, one of the crew guys and I just started crying because I thought, here's a guy I'm probably never going to see again. You know, this is a real family, both mm -hmm. on screen and off. Yeah, if you look at that family photograph at the end there, it's definitely a big yeah. family. It is. They've been together for a long time. So too. are they going to wrap it up in a tidy little package? Oh, well, that's what, that's what so. we all want to know. Yeah. You know, fans are waiting. They've been watching for years. So I'll have to wait and see. Friday's the last episode. All right, Alina Cho for us this morning. Alina, thanks so much. Okay.